I think there's an empty seat over here on this side, Andrew. Big yeah, that's, crowd, that's big a crowd. big crowd tonight. Love it. All right, here's the first down play. Again, there's that counter. Oh, the he might be gone. And he gets out across midfield, across the 40, the 30, the 20, and he's fast. Yeah. And that is going to be a touchdown for number four, DJ Winters. And that is a 74-yard touchdown run. Yeah, quick hitter right there from Tampa. Come out first play, and like I said, you know, Cavaliers couldn't lose focus on defense right there, and it looks like we just lost the tailback in the backfield and had some nice blocks that sprung him loose, and he just outran the entire Callaway secondary for a huge touchdown for Temple. All right, so on to kick the extra point for Temple is number 14, Diego Medina. <laughs> nice run by DJ Winters. There's a snap, the kick, it is up, it is good. So just like that, DJ Winters for about 75 yards, Andrew, makes it 21 to 7. Yep. Both both DJs showing out tonight. Yeah, well, let's just hope our DJ has a has a few more uh, bit highlights left in this game than theirs. But impressive run there by uh, DJ Flea Winters from Temple right there. Nice run for, uh, for them, and uh, Temple gets on the scoreboard. All right, let's take a quick break. This is Callaway Cavalier Football on the Eagle Sports Network. It's growing. We've opened a new location in Columbus, and we've adopted a new name that reflects our community roots with an eye on the future. Welcome to Calumet Bank, offering personal and business banking services with the friendliness of neighbors. We work on your schedule, offering daytime business hours and a complete set of mobile apps. Day or night, we've got you covered. Calumet Bank, same great services from people you already know. Life is better at Calumet. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Ta -ta 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 Kia. Hi friends, Jess Lichter here with Kia of LaGrange. We're going pink this month for breast cancer awareness. We're proud to be one of the gold sponsors for our local Paint the Town Pink Hope Walk event. Being involved in our community is part of our heart and soul. Speaking of the soul, you can own a 17 Kia Soul right now for only $15,888. Stop by and see our entire inventory at 1217 Lafayette Parkway or shop anytime at KiaofLaGrange.com. Help support your local economy. Price plus tech, tag, and title. Stock number 19824. For award information, visit JDPower.com slash cars. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle 1023 and online at eagle1023.com. And there's a booming kick right there uh, by number 14. Diego Medina goes out of the back of the end zone. Cavs are going to come out to the 20-yard line here, Andrew. Yeah, nice kickoff there by Temple. Uh, the Cavaliers are coming out on offense up to the 20-yard line and a uh, you know, Temple, you let up a little bit, and Temple took advantage of it. It's 21-7 uh, now, Callaway on top. But uh, wouldn't mind us seeing us going on, on one of these long touchdown drives, eating up a little clock, running the football, doing what we do. Add another touchdown on the board at the end. We've got a false start on the Cavaliers. Left tackle. And once again. Good call. Happens from the right, shotgun. Right. We go to that wild cav, and like I First said, when you go from when you go from under center to the shotgun, and, and you change the quarterback out too, it's just sometimes it's just hard, you know, with the linemen and, and everybody to, to to go on the right snap count. So that was going to be the old wild cav there. Yeah, wild cav. And that's one of my favorite formations too. Jacob Freeman's really really good out of that formation too. All right, again with the wild cav. And you can see those receivers split way out to each side. There's a snap. Freeman going to tuck it and run out over the left side. And Ooh. gets to the 20-yard oh line. And he lowered his head oh my and ran somebody over, didn't he? He's not a big kid either. I mean, he just went over there and just drilled the Temple defender. Way to finish a run right there. Really physical finish that run. Make his way to the original line of scrimmage. Second down. West split way out here to the right. Let's play right here. DJ, he's that's Quay Hines. He gets out across the 25. I think that's to a the face 26. Mask on and an obvious face mask. Good Temple call there Temple by the run. official. Yeah, at the end of the play, Temple came in. Looks like they grabbed the face mask and, and spun him around right there. And that's dangerous right there. It's a very dangerous play. So glad we were able to see it. Cavs pick up 15 yards in the first down. 
21-7. The score here on homecoming night for the Cavs. Andrew, how how was your homecoming experiences here with the Cavaliers? Um, uh, it wasn't very good. I think we played Manchester uh, my senior year, and uh, they came in here and beat us pretty pretty badly. But uh, but uh, other years it was good. But you know, homecoming's a fun time for everybody. Glad to see everybody coming home. All right, Kedrick wants to take a shot deep down the field. Oh man, if the field was about six yards wider, we would have had that. Glad to see, you know, Courtney Williams. He caught the ball out of bounds, but uh, I'm glad to see us still taking shots downfield, and Kedrick still. Not afraid to fire the ball downfield, too, after a rough outing last week. But starting to try to build a little confidence back in Kiedrick, trying to trying to get him to start getting his passing game going. And I'm really glad to see us using Courtney Williams, too, in the passing game. He's he's had a heck of a season catching the football. Here's a second down. Give to DJ. DJ oh, nice. He oh. gets about five, maybe six on the play. Oh, man. If we could, if he could have just beat forty-seven right there, he had a wall. He was, he could have had his third touchdown of the game right there. Well blocked play, but a Callaway offensive line right there, and and that forty-seven made a touchdown saving tackle there for Temple. Uh, Wesley Griffith, senior linebacker for the Tigers. All right, eight minutes to go. Kedrick takes a snap, tosses it to DJ off the left side. DJ cuts it back across the middle of the field. It's going to be close. Got yeah. One, maybe two on the play. Yeah, he had to cut that one back. Temple did a good job of forcing that toss play to the left back inside to their linebackers. And, and that's, that's going to bring up a first down for the Cavaliers. Great job by DJ cutting against the grain and able to, to fight with those tough yards and pick up a first down. All right, again, Jacob Freeman split way out to the left. West Brooks to the right. Kedrick under center takes a snap. Give the DJ nice off hold. the right side across the 40. Makes one guy miss, and he's pushed out of bounds. At the 36, one, and I, so Cavs pick him up in chunks here, Andrew. Oh, man, and he's down, too. I was going to say, uh, I don't know if I was number 70 for Temple. Uh, Joshua Culver just got pancaked by big Keandre Jones, and and he's down the field injured, so let's hope he's all right. Um, real quick, though, uh, a couple of our local teams in action, uh, and this is courtesy of Kevin Eckleberry. Um, of the LaGrange Daily News. You can follow him on Twitter at LaGrange Sports, and that's at LaGrange Sports. Uh, Sandy Creek leads LaGrange 14 zip in the second quarter. And Troop and Cedartown are now tied 7 to 7 in the second quarter after uh, Montez Crow hit Jamari Thrash for a 23 yard touchdown. So that's a tight ball game up there in Cedartown. All right. Looks like 70 is going to be all right, walking off under his own power. So glad to see he's all he's okay, and uh, looks like he he probably be able to get back in this ball game later on. 37 yard line of the Tigers, first down Cavaliers. Looks like Cavs going to the Wild Cav here. Let's see. Biggest thing right here, we just got it. We got to stay on sides in these situations when we go to the shotgun. Just got to be able to stay on sides. All right, boys. Thank. They've only got 10 players on the field. I think so, too. He's got a Jacob massive Freeman's hole. Jacob Freeman's got a hole, and he he's going to get gone. the end zone. 10-5 touchdown, Jacob Freeman <laughs> from 35 yards out. Heck of a run there by Jacob Freeman, and good job of staying on side with the offensive line, and that was a heck of a job blocking right there. Jacob Freeman goes untouched 37 yards from the Wild Cav, and Callaway now leads 27-7. Personnel issues there with Temple, but uh, we'll take it. 27 to 7 to score, waiting the extra point snap. Good job right there by Kedrick to get that ball onto the tee after the low snap. So the score is now 28 to 7. 7.23 to go before halftime. We'll take a break. This is Callaway Cavalier Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Sell or buy a home is a big step. To make sure it's a step in the right direction, choose the person best qualified to handle your real estate needs. Joel and Rob Upchurch have been breaking sales records every year since 1997. They truly are the real estate leaders in West Georgia. So take a step in the right direction. Contact Joel or Rob Upchurch at REMAX Results because they are dedicated to results and converting transactions into relationships. 
Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle 102.3 and online at eagle1023.com. All right, 7.23 to go, 28-7 your score. Uh, Andrew Cavs, Cavs trying to get to that running clock. Yeah, trying to get to that running clock, and they've done a great job except for that one one, one play. And one that's play all got it takes. us, and that's all it takes us, and that, that's something Kirby Smart was preaching at Georgia last week when, we, when they played uh, Missouri. Those plays would get you. All right, kickoff taken at the one-yard line by number 23. There we go, and good hit. he is tackled inside the 20 around the 19. That was, again, Damar Ivey for Temple. And that was a great job by the Callaway uh, special teams getting down the field and tackling the Temple ball, ball carry inside the 20. And I tell you what, Noah Stevens is, can, is really having a solid season. You know, we really haven't been able to say his name a whole lot except he's, kicked, he's done well on extra points. He does a great job on these kickoffs. And the few times he's been called upon for field goals, he's executed as well. So... Noah Stevens is really, really coming on strong here in this 2017 season. All right. Homecoming tonight here for the Cavs. And you mentioned you played in a couple of these homecoming games, Andrew. Uh, long at, ago. All right, here's a snap. There's that counter again to Ivy, number 23, and he is tackled after no game. Good job by the Callaway defense, able to force them back outside, and the linebackers clean it up. And Callaway's defense has really set the tone in this game. I'd say for that touchdown run, Temple's really not gotten anything going on the ground tonight. And I wouldn't be shocked with it being 28-7 to if Temple may want to go to the air in this situation. Maybe try to – Callaway's got a lot of guys in the box here and maybe try to, to see if they can hit a pass play downfield. All right, looks like one receiver, two receivers split to the left. Got a wing right, and there's a snap. Bad snap. Oh, Quarterback gets on it after on about it. a five-yard loss. Yeah, bad snap tonight, and that's and that's been an issue tonight for Temple. They've had some bad snaps. They've the the, the snaps on these punts are real slow, high in the air. So the the, the snap has been a, a big factor in tonight's game uh, and working against Temple here. So. Looks like Courtney Williams has entered the game to play uh, to play free safety for the Cavaliers on this third and third and seven. This is the dime package, Andrew. That's right. All right, two receivers left, one to the right. Third down, and looks like about 13, maybe 14 right here. There's the shotgun snap. He drops straight back, trying to set a screen up. It's not there. He rolls to looks his like right. Got him. And he just dumps it off. Looks like it falls incomplete. Wouldn't have been enough for the first down. Yeah, great backside pressure by the Callaway defense and an even better job in coverage. And that's just a that's just good coverage. You got to force him to check down, and he couldn't complete the pass. So brings up a fourth down and another punting situation here for Temple. And about five minutes and 49 seconds left in the half. Let's see if Callaway can put another touchdown on the board and, and build a lead right here. Like you said, maybe try to get to that running clock here in the second half. Uh, I'm, I don't remember what the the rule is I think it's on the running 30 clock. Thirty points. Is it thirty? Thirty or thirty? Thirty or thirty-five. If any of you listeners out there know, just give us a tweet. And let us know. All right. DQ standing at midfield to receive the punt. There's a snap. Nice snap again. And there's a punt over to the right side, and DQ catches it oh. and then falls on it after he dropped it. Inside Temple territory around the 40-yard line. Man, he is not scared to field those punts. I tell you what, and that's what you like to see from your punt return. You got to be fearless. I, you know, I never, I never, uh, you know, I got put back there a few times, especially in practice. And I tell you what, there's nothing scarier than waiting for that ball to come down. You seeing all those athletes coming at you with a full head of steam ready to knock your head off when you catch the ball. So DQ's had a marvelous night fielding these kicks, fielding these punts and uh, making positive plays happen. All right, so on first down from the Temple 40, Kedrick works out of the shotgun, two receivers to the right, one to the left, wants to throw it, drops your, straight back, and dumps it off to number it? five, Good Courtney job. Williams, with a reception at the 31-yard line. And, he, and, he, and that's a great job by Courtney, hel uh, helping his quarterback out right there. Uh, Kedrick put the ball low and away, and Courtney does a good job of coming back to the ball and, and making the catch first and not really worried about trying to get upfield. So a great job by Courtney catching the football and picking up a first down for Callaway. 
All right, here's the second two. Give to Cartavius off the right side. Gets out across the 20. Oh, he's gone. Across the 10, 5, into the end zone. Another Cavalier touchdown. This time, Cartavius Bigsby. Yeah, Cartavius Bigsby scores from 31 yards out and a heck of a block by Jacob Freeman on the outside and stock blocking. I know that'll make Coach Donay smile. I know we used to work on that every single day from the wideout position, and uh, Cartavius takes it untouched virtually 31 yards to the house, and Callaway leads 34-7. All right, and it looks like uh, Cavaliers are going to go with Hunter Williamson here to attempt the extra point. There's a snap, the hold, the kick. It is up. And great job, young man. And the score is now 35-7 to seven with five minutes to go. Uh, one more score, Andrew. We'll get us a running clock. What do you think? Well, we got to come out and play defense. Can't have any mental lapses here. We've got to come out and stop them and get the ball back. All right, we'll take a quick break. This is Callaway Cavalier Football on the Eagle Sports Network. At Wellstar West Georgia Medical Center, we believe teamwork makes all the difference in your health. We believe that skilled people can achieve higher standards and exceptional results. We believe in a game plan that's focused on patient safety and quality care. At Wellstar West Georgia Medical Center in LaGrange, we believe in life well lived. To learn more about award-winning health care, visit wellstar.org slash WGMC. You're listening to Eagle 1023 and online at eagle1023.com. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football. All right, 35-7 your score. Callaway getting set to kick off, and it looks like the number 35 for the Cavaliers. That's Bryce Kieran in there to kick off. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. He Show gets across the 30, and he's finally tackled at about the 31. Good return there by number 23, Damar Ivy. Ivy all over the place. And now that was 36. That was Noah Stevens kicking off. Sorry about that. Noah's got a good leg. And I saw the other day he's – He's get, starting to get notices uh, by colleges, too, starting to get some offers, so I'm really glad to see that. So Noah's, Noah's a great kid. He's got a great family, and uh, he's been a huge part of this uh, Callaway football success here over the past few years. Absolutely. Uh, very consistent. You know what you're going to get when he goes out there. Absolutely. Kind of like Alabama football. You just know what, you just know what you're going to get. It's a good call right there, Shane. So you got a timeout by Temple, it looks like. All right, we'll take a quick break with them. 4.58 to go here before halftime. 35-7 your score. This is Callaway Cavalier Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Chips and salsa. Refrigerator and freezer. The internet and cat videos. At State Farm, there's another combination meant to go together. Home and auto. As in combining your home and auto insurance with one agent which leads to another combination, saving dollars and cents. Your State Farm agent is here to help life go right. Combine home and auto and see how much you can save. Visit your LaGrange State Farm agent, Mabel Smith-Sharp, online at LetMabelQuote.com. Signs of progress are all over town. Mayor Jim Thornton is running for re-election to keep moving forward and to make things better for all citizens. I'm Jim Thornton, and I've proven what I can and will do in office. The people of LaGrange care about results. I ask you to look at my record, a growing economy, a safer community, and a great quality of life. Learn more at jimthornton.org. Jim Thornton doesn't just talk. He gets things done. For progress and growth, Jim Thornton is your choice. Re-elect Jim Thornton as mayor of LaGrange. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle 1023 and online at eagle1023.com. All right, on the first right, on down play, down. the quarterback, quarterback was hit for was about hit. a two-yard loss, two yard Jonathan Leonard, Leonard, on the sack. Yeah, good job by Jonathan Leonard getting in there and, and uh, making the sack right there. That was a pass play, and it looked like he was trying to scramble for some two or three yards on the play, and Jonathan able to shut that down. Um, and once again, Temple with about four minutes, 30 seconds left in the half. Temple lining back up in the shotgun. Trey Johnson from the gun. There's a snap. Fakes a give. Wants to throw. Oh, tucks good it. Pump runs. Fake. And I tell you what. That's uh, impressive. Between him 
and the tailback uh, DJ Winters. Those are those are two hard to tackle guys. It, it looked like one of those basketball players pump fake, and the and the defender goes sailing in the air past them, and he's able to to sneak back to the rim and dunk it. And good job there by uh, Trey Johnson of, of being able to pump fake the defense and able to scramble for uh, positive yards. Of the Tigers brings it up third down and about five right here. Third down. Again from the gun, there's a snap. This time they give it to the tailback. I don't think he got it. And he is bottled up. He gets about one. Going to bring it fourth down. Great job about by Nathan four. Sapp on that play. Force him back inside. So it's decision time here. It's 35-7 at this point. I mean, Cal is getting the ball back to start the second half. So as Temple, or, or, do you go for it here? Or do you punt it back to Callaway, who's scored the last three times they've touched the football? Looks like they're going to send Diego Medina out to punt. A couple. And Quay Hines going to drop back down around the 30-yard line. And a couple more score updates, uh, courtesy of Kevin Eckleberry of LaGrange uh, Daily News. Uh, at the half, Cedartown 7, Troop 6, and Sandy Creek 21, LaGrange nothing. And there's the snap. We might get that one. And it bounces way out of bounds. I think, it, I think it bounced out of bounds on the Temple. Let's see where he stops. He's coming up, coming up, right in front of us on the Temple 47-yard line, Andrew. Good Man, field position for the Cavs. Good field position. And that's when it goes back to that snap like I was talking about earlier, that slow snap, and it's just not giving the punter a whole lot of time to get that football away. And, uh, you know, that just makes it hard to get a, get a good kickoff too. So it's one thing that's been really hurting Temple tonight. All right, three receivers left, one to the right. Kedrick from the gun takes a snap, fakes the give, drops back, wants to throw. Quick hitter. Oh. Looking for Jacob Freeman, threw it a little high. Seven, eight, there's Jacob a flag, Freeman, late flag right there, Andrew. There's a flag here. Might be a legal man downfield. Might be a legal man or possibly a personal foul. Legal man downfield. Don't see that called too often in high school especially, but I think one of our linemen was about five yards downfield when that ball was thrown. So it's tough when, you're, when you don't catch it, though. <laughs> when you don't catch it, it's easy to, to spot those guys downfield. Either way, good call. And with 2.49 to go, 35-7 Cavalier lead. That is going to back the Cavs up. And actually, they declined it. So going to bring up second down and 10 now for the Cavs. That just shows you the respect they have for the Callaway offense, not wanting to give them an extra an extra down to get 15 yards. Two receivers left, one to the right. Kedrick from the gun, high snap, fakes a give. This time he's got DQ on a screen. DQ gets up to about the 46-yard line, Andrew. Going to bring up third down and nine. I tell you what, it takes a lot of arm strength to make that throw, too, even though it's a it's a lateral throw and, you know, Kedrick's literally throwing that football to the other side of the field on a screen pass. So, way to get a good pass by Kedrick, and, and we just couldn't uh, we just couldn't get anything done there on the pass play. So, it brings up a third and ten. So, wouldn't be shocked to see us try to hit something in the middle of the field here. All right, two receivers right, one to the left. There's a snap. Uh, I think, I think we jumped snap. on it. Please and they're going to give the yep. ball to Temple, Andrew. Yeah, I thought Kedrick got back on top of it, but looks like Temple defensive tackle able to wrestle the ball away, and that's not what you needed if you're Callaway. So with 2.06 left in the first half, Temple setting up shop at their own 49-yard line. So this is what you can't do. You can't put your defense in a bad position right here. So defense has only got 51 yards to work with. But let's see if, let's see if Callaway just goes with a bend-but-don't-break approach right here. See if they just try to make Temple eat some clock and keep him out of the end zone and go to the half. Cavs with two timeouts. That was, first down that was the first turnover of the night for the Cavaliers. Here's the snap, and there's that counter to number four, DJ Winters. Ooh. He is a tough. Is he still not down? He is a tough runner. He gets about eight, maybe nine Goodness on the gracious. play. gracious. That was a good run by DJ Winters right there. I thought surely he was down. But uh, he just kept those legs churning and was able to pick, get close to the first down marker. Quick give on the play. First so 145 left in the half. And like I said, I still think Callaway's just going to go with that field. bend but don't break mentality right here. Don't be overly aggressive and give up the big play. Right, 
second down and second a down. long one right here. Again, Trey Johnson works from the shotgun. There's a snap. There's a give. Oh, and he's gotta get it. Gotta make that play. There you go. Good it trips job. up, and he loses about two yards. So with 118 to go, third down and four now for Temple. Got to probably believe two down territory, Andrew. Yeah, two down. It has to be. I mean, you're down four scores. You got a minute 11 left in the half, and you know you're just trying to fight and stay in this football game. And you know, Temple's just thinking one, you know, one play at a time, trying just trying to get back, claw their way back into this game. So. All right, Temple's going to use their last timeout. We'll take a timeout with them. This is Callaway Cavalier football on the Eagle Sports Network. Deciding to sell or buy a home is a big step. To make sure it's the step in the right direction, choose the person best qualified to handle your real estate needs. Joel and Rob Upchurch have been breaking sales records every year since 1997. They truly are the real estate leaders in West Georgia. So take a step in the right direction. Contact Joel or Rob Upchurch at REMAX Results because they are dedicated to results and converting transactions into relationships. There's a secret to beating injuries or ailments. Get the right team. Emory Southern Orthopedics well-trained, experienced doctors, nurses, and staff are that team. These teammates listen and understand your specific condition and provide high-quality hometown care that will get you back into your game. For more information about Emory Southern Orthopedics team, visit www.southernorthopedics.com. Now back to the field for more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle 1023 and on 102.com. Gotta give the Tigers a first down. All right, it was third down and four. Cavalier defensive front jump. Good call there by the ref. First down, Tigers. Gives Temple a first down from the 40 yard line. There's a snap. He wants to throw it, and now he's going to take off. Good job and by the Callaway defense. He is still on his feet, and he is hit hard uh, over there at the 36 yard line. And that will stop the clock with 102 to go here before halftime. I tell you what, though, I mean, he picked up a couple yards running the ball, but I've been really impressed with this Callaway secondary doing a good job of covering these Temple wide receivers. And, and one guy I was really worried about tonight for Temple has been uh, down, Toby Fordham, number 25, and we haven't called his name once tonight, a wide receiver for Temple. All right, here's a snap, back. bad snap again. Oh, you, can't, you gotta and make that play. And it gets out of the backfield, gets across the line of scrimmage, and gets about three yards. Uh, gonna bring up third down and about two, Andrew. Yeah, third and two right there, and a bad, another bad snap for Temple, and this time they actually got away with it, able to uh, to, to run past the defender and pick up some positive yardage right there. But uh, I'm telling you, those things will hurt you right those bad snaps. Those will hurt you bad. Got a throw right here. Here's a snap. Absolutely. Rolls to his right. Now he wants to throw, and he's got a man in the corner of the end zone. And he knocked it away, I think. Threw it high. Incomplete, going to stop the clock at 26 seconds. And it's going to be fourth and two. Was that Courtney Williams, I think? Yes, it was. Yeah, great job by Courtney and Kobe Jackson back there. They uh, they were beat initially on the play, and they did a good job recovering and getting them back there and, and knocking the, the ball down right there on third down. So that brings up a fourth and three for Temple. All right, Coach Wiggins calls a timeout right here with 26 seconds to go before half. 35 Seven, your score here on homecoming night, Andrew. Somebody's going to be a king and queen here at halftime. And I was just thinking, did you go your junior year to Manchester? Yes. J.C. Copeland. Yeah. And then you had to turn around and play him your senior year. Oh, we didn't play Troop No, we didn't play Troop that year. But he was at Troop for his senior year. Yes, he was. I remember, a lot of people are at Troop for this year. I remember when we went to Manchester. Man, he was a man child. Man, that was Ooh. a tough place to play. It is. Manchester is a tough place to play. It I don't reminds care. me of uh, that Hanley atmosphere, that small town. Oh, yeah. Everything shuts down on Friday night. Oh, yes. All right, here's the fourth and two. Quarterback rolls to his left, wants to throw, finds a man, and he is hit hard by Cartavius Bigsby. Cartavius knocks the ball loose. <laughs> 
Man, you just do not. Cor I, I tell you what, that, there's not a thing that kid can't do. He can play coverage. He can rush the passer. He can hit you hard. He that plays running back. I mean, there's not, there's not a whole lot that kid can't do right there, and that's a big stop for Cowboys. So with 20 seconds left right here, I mean, you could take a knee, go to the half, or maybe try to hit a big play right here. But I imagine you're going to see Temple maybe in a, in a prevent-style defense and just don't let anything get past him. Let's see what we got here. Cavs come to the line. Three receivers right, one to the left. DJ in the backfield with Kedrick. There's a shotgun snap. Give to DJ. Got a lot of DJ room. gets out across the 40. Oh, my goodness. Out across the 50. Down call to a the 40-yard line. Got to call a timeout. There we go. There we go. 11 seconds. Clock stops to move the chains. It's going to cross midfield. <laughs> Man, <laughs> what a run. Let's see if they can. Coach Wiggins going to have to use it right here. There it is. 11 seconds left in the half. So now you got the ball inside Temple Territory from the 40-yard line. Definitely could take a shot here, Andrew. Take a shot. You can try to run something in the middle of the field. Get to about the 25-yard line. See if we can't get Noah Stevens a chance at a field goal. But I think, nonetheless, you got time for two plays. Maybe three if the first one's quick. No timeouts left. Trying to see if we got any more updates here. Been all Callaway so far, except for the 75-yard touchdown run by DJ Winters. Yeah, that's tough, man. That kid's tough. He runs hard. All right, here comes the Cavs to the line. Three receivers split out to the left. One receiver to the right, Courtney Williams down here on the bottom. And DJ stands in the backfield with Kedrick. There's a snap, fakes a give, wants to throw, rolls to his right. Quick hitter. Good job. That's Out a here. good job by Courtney Williams. And like Pass you said, Andrew, at the 26-yard line, and they're going to bring Noah on. I know his range. Six seconds. <laughs> And I, I don't know. We got any timeouts left? I can't see around the corner. No timeouts. No timeouts left, so you got to kick it here. I was going to say, you could probably try to run it one more play, but. So here comes Noah Stevens for a 43 yard kick, and we're not going to get it off. He went out of bounds, did he not? Let's That's see. what Coach Wiggins is saying. He clock. went out of bounds. That's got it. Yeah. He caught the ball and went out of bounds with it. You gotta see, yeah, they're gonna. So they, they shouldn't have started the clock back no, until the snap. Until the snap. All right, so they'll reset the clock here, 6.3 seconds. Yeah, I thought. There we go. <laughs> and the Temple, I was a little Temple coach won the explanation here, but it's pretty simple. Hey, okay, caught the ball, went out of bounds. So Man, what a great job right there by the referees coming together, uh, fixing that right there. What a what a job! All right, so here's Noah Stevens on to attempt a 43-yarder. Low snap, he gets it down. Oh, I don't think he's got it. It's gonna fall short. Darn. I believe the snap threw him off. Andrew. It did. It was a it was a low snap, and, the, and it's, that's been kind of the story of the first half. There, uh, low snaps, and it, and it messes up the play big time. So, but your Cavaliers up 35-7 going into the half. All right, we'll take a quick break. This is Callaway Cavalier Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Deciding to sell or buy a home is a big step. To make sure it's a step in the right direction, choose the person best qualified to handle your real estate needs. Joel and Rob Upchurch have been breaking sales records every year since 1997. They truly are the real estate leaders in West Georgia. So take a step in the right direction. Contact Joel or Rob Upchurch at REMAX Results because they are dedicated to results and converting transactions into relationships. At Wellstar West Georgia Medical Center, we believe teamwork makes all the difference in your health. We believe that skilled people can achieve higher standards and exceptional results. We believe in a game plan that's focused on patient safety and quality care. At Wellstar West Georgia Medical Center in LaGrange, we believe in life well lived. 
To learn more about award-winning healthcare, visit wellstar.org slash WGMC. State Farm, this is Gwen. Salutations, Gwen. I have car insurance, but I want to protect the rest of the stuff in my apartment. Some of my action figures were ruined recently. We can add a renter's policy. For the cost of one action figure, we can protect your entire army of action figures against fire, theft, burst pipes. Great. You have no idea how hard it is untangling wet alien hair. Add renter's insurance to your auto policy and get to a better state. State Farm. For a money-saving way to protect your possessions, call agent Matt Orr on the square in downtown LaGrange. Here's Perry Prather, head pharmacist at Holmes Pharmacy. All right, we have the flu shots in. We're going to start giving the flu shots out as of September 1 until we're through with the flu season. We have now the high dose in for 65 and older, and we're able to give flu shots to um, anyone 13 and older. And uh, keep in mind, Coleman, that if any large group of people that has, you know, 20 or more shots, if they want to give us a call, um, we'll be glad to set up a time to do the flu shots on site. Locally owned. That's Holmes Pharmacy. Cobber Savity on the Grange and in Hamilton. Ka, 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 Kia. Hi, friends. Just like to hear with Kia of LaGrange. We're going pink this month for breast cancer awareness. We're proud to be one of the gold sponsors for our local Paint the Town Pink Hope Walk event. Being involved in our community is part of our heart and soul. Speaking of the soul, you can own a 17 Kia Soul right now for only $15,888. Stop by and see our entire inventory at 1217 Lafayette Parkway or shop anytime at KiaOfLaGrange.com. Help support your local economy. Price plus tax, tag, and title. Stock number 19824. For award information, visit JDPower.com slash cars. Attention steak lovers, your chance to buy awesome steaks right here in LaGrange is at B's Meat Market of LaGrange. They'll be opening their doors Saturday, November 4th, a premier full-service butcher shop offering beef, pork, and chicken that will be cut fresh daily to your exact liking. B's Meat Market of LaGrange will offer everything from individual cuts of meats to bulk packages for large gatherings. Tell your friends and family and your neighbors that Saturday, November 4th is the big day. Bees Meat Market of LaGrange. You're listening to Eagle 1023 and online at eagle1023.com. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football. All right, guys, here at the break, 35 to 7. Cavs on top of the Temple Tigers, and it has been the story of the running game tonight, Andrew. Yeah, running games uh, really paved the way for the Cavaliers. Uh, We've got two touchdowns by uh, D.J. Atkins on his birthday, on his 18th birthday today. And uh, Cartavius Bigsby carrying the rock for two scores. And then we had an electric run for a TD by uh, Jacob Freeman from the Wildcat formation. So it's like we were saying pregame, we felt like the Cavs may come out and play their most complete game of the season tonight, especially after what happened last week. And uh, so far, other than one play, the Cavs hasn't, have not disappointed tonight. And I would imagine that uh, DJ Winters <coughs> is probably going to do that to a lot of teams down the road this year. Uh, very, very aggressive style of running. Uh, hard to hard to get him down on the ground. He's just so shifty. That's right. And <coughs> makes a lot of big plays, makes a lot of guys miss. And uh, overall, just really impressed with his first half performance for the Callaway descent. And like that one by Jay Wynn, you know, they bottled up the Nets. Right, we see home court coming out across the 50-yard line, uh, either turning to the left or to the right. And everybody is very well dressed tonight, looks sharp. He's about to be the king and the queen. Obviously, that'll be a huge thing for them tonight. Absolutely. Look at all these football players down here representing for Callaway. Uh, Noah Stevens, uh, DQ Wilkerson, LaShawn Terrell, and Jonathan Leonard are part of the homecoming court for the Cavaliers. All right. As they uh, continue to finish up the break, Callaway Cavalier fall. Big stuff. Make sure it's at the right direction. It's the best ball handle states. Bull and Bubbers have King Records every year since 1997. They truly are the real estate leaders in West Georgia. So take a step in the right direction. Contact Joel or Rob Upchurch at REMAX Results because they are dedicated to results and converting transactions into relationships. Attention steak lovers, your chance to buy awesome steaks right here in LaGrange is at B's Meat Market of LaGrange. They'll be opening their doors Saturday, November 4th, a premier full-service butcher shop offering beef, pork, and chicken. That will be cut fresh daily to your exact liking. Bee's Meat Market of LaGrange will offer everything from individual cuts of meats to bulk package gatherings. Tell your friends and family and your neighbors that Saturday, November 4th is the big day. Bee's Meat Market of LaGrange. 
Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle 1023 and online at eagle1023.com. CCLA. All right, guys, about 15 minutes before we start the second half. And it looks like they've got about three more uh, queens or homecoming court. Yeah, might be queens. <laughs> All potential candidates. Three more potential candidates to uh, come across the line here. I'll tell you what, man, I'm impressed with this crowd tonight. Yes. Uh, I, like I said earlier, I don't think there's an empty seat down there. Yeah, it's nice to see everybody coming home. And like you said, the, the stadium's filled up. Uh, Temple brought some fans with them down here too, and it's just been a it's just been a really good night for the Cavaliers, and I'm really happy to see them bouncing back, uh, especially after last uh, especially after last week. Uh, got a couple of scores here uh, at the half, uh, and these are all uh, courtesy of uh, Kevin Eckleberry at, at the uh, Lagrange Daily News Sports. Uh, you can follow him on Twitter at Lagrange Sports to get all your local sports coverage. Uh, he does a great job covering all the Troop County teams. Uh, at the half, Hurd County leads Jordan 28-7. to um, And at the half, halftime score still, uh, or beginning of the third quarter, Cedartown still leads Troop 7-6. to And your score is still 21-0. Um, as of right now, uh, Cedar, uh, Sandy Creek over the Grangers of LaGrange. So a lot of action going on tonight. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, got local team, two local teams on the road tonight. Uh, Troop, obviously, they have uh, huge expectations this week or this year. Uh, they've got a big one coming up, like you said earlier, Andrew, with Cartersville. Uh, that's more than likely going to be for the region title. Absolutely, big matchup, and uh, fortunately for us, we'll have the Thursday night game that night, uh, that week against uh, Jordan. So. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll come over, uh, watch some good football. You know, maybe go, come over here and check out uh, old Jack and uh, Greg. So Help looks, them out a little bit, watch that Cartersville uh, troop game. Looks like uh, LaShawn Terrell, the uh, senior defensive lineman. One homecoming king. For the Cavaliers is your Ladies homecoming king. That is awesome. Good, for, uh, good job for LaShawn right there. I, you think he's going to wear that into the locker room? Man, I would. I'd wear the sash, too. He better get about four sacks there in the second half, too. Let's see who won the... I can't, I can't hear who they called for the homecoming queen, though. Little Sean over there looking sharp in his crown and his big sash. and uh, he's He posed for his pictures, and he's done. He's ready to get back to the locker room and... Ready to get back to his teammates and uh, try to put away this Temple team here in the second half. All right, so we've got about 12 minutes. And we've got a king and a queen. So a successful homecoming night here for the Cavaliers so far. Uh, have a second half of football left. This is Callaway Cavalier football on the Eagle Sports Network. At Holmes Pharmacy. We have the flu shots in. We're going to start giving the flu shots out as of September 1 until we're through with the flu season. We have now the high dose in for 65 and older, and we're able to give flu shots to um, anyone 13 and older. And uh, keep in mind, Coleman, that if any large group of people that has, you know, 20 or more shots, if they want to give us a call, um, we'll be glad to set up a time to do the flu shots on site. Locally owned. That's Holmes Pharmacy. Cobber Avenue on the Grange. And in Hamilton. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle 1023 and online at eagle1023.com. All right, guys, 35-7 halftime score here. Uh, I'm not – I don't guess the band – the band probably won't perform tonight, will they? No, about 10 minutes left here in the half. And uh, just kind of recap uh, things. Uh, our own LaShawn Terrell wins homecoming king, so congratulations to him. Um, and like we were talking about earlier, Shane, you know, great job from the Callaway offense, really rebounding. Uh, you know, they had a turnover late in the half, but we've really seemed to clean things up. Not a lot of penalties tonight. Um, done, a, done a really good job of blocking for our running backs, and anytime our uh, our tailbacks can get going, uh, it seems to determine how much success we have every night. So 
good to see the Callaway running backs just really tearing it up tonight and uh, look to see more of the same here in the second half. All right, we'll take another break. This is Callaway Cavalier Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Hi, friends. Just like to hear with Kia of the Grange. We're going pink this month for breast cancer awareness. We're proud to be one of the gold sponsors for our local Paint the Town Pink Hope Walk event. Being involved in our community is part of our heart and soul. Speaking of the soul, you can own a 17 Kia Soul right now for only $15,888. Stop by and see our entire inventory at 1217 Lafayette Parkway or shop anytime at keyofthegrange.com. Help support your local economy. Price plus tax, tag, and title. Stock number 19824. For award information, visit jdpower.com slash cars. You're listening to Eagle 1023 and online at eagle1023.com. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football. All right, Andrew, I guess we've got a uh, a quick minute here. We can talk a little college football. A lot of chaos uh, last weekend starting on on Friday night. Yeah, a lot of teams went down. We had uh, Washington State losing to Cal. I think uh, Washington Huskies lost to uh, Arizona State. And, and how about that, though? How about uh, both those schools just being in the top ten for a while, really kind of bringing, getting back to that, uh, that, you know, that elite status? Because those that Apple Cup, you know, Washington and Washington State used to be real, real big games, you know, ranked teams. And a lot of times the winner of that game went to the Rose Bowl. So... And uh, we had some more teams, you know, like uh, Clemson fell to uh, Syracuse. Um, yeah, so that was a that was a tough one for the Tigers. And I think well, there's one more upset. Uh, Auburn. Auburn. I think what was it? Auburn went down to uh, LSU. So we need uh, blew a 20 point lead in that game too. So that's a that was a tough one to swallow there for the Tigers. But uh, we got a. Uh, uh, a lot of good games on the slate this weekend. Uh, you know, Alabama, third week in October, hosting uh, Tennessee Vols, so that's going to be a big-time game. CBS will be there. Yeah, I'll stop and grab me a cigar. <laughs> um, I tell you what, shout-out to uh, Keyshawn Freeman, man. That was a tough, tough loss Yes, for Georgia Tech against Miami, man. Uh, I, I thought Georgia Tech had that one the whole way. They played a heck of a game. Absolutely. How about Keyshawn, man? He's been starting over there since his freshman year. And he just gets better and better every week. And he's going to do some pretty big things, I believe. Well, I know this. I really I really didn't like him last year when they uh, when they ended up defeating Georgia at, at home. But, man, he, is, he has done an outstanding job ever since he's gone to Georgia Tech. And it's been a huge part of their uh, – their program, and he's represented our school and our community with class and respect, and uh, and that's uh, and that's the awesome stuff that we love to see from the Cavaliers. It's like Georgia's got a star wide receiver out here tonight. I see uh, Terry Godwin making his way yeah, all through the crowd. Well, Terry's home. What a job he's doing. Yeah, absolutely, he's had a huge year, and, and how about that catch at Notre Dame? Uh, maybe. Catch of the year, Catch maybe. Catch of the year, yeah. So we'll have to, we'll have to go down. He might get an ESPY. We, we have to, might have to go down and say, hey, so maybe we can uh, maybe we can work some magic, get him up here in the booth for a little interview or something later in the game. We'll see what we can do. I know uh, I think he, he injured a rib uh, Saturday night or yes. Saturday evening against Missouri, and I think he's going to be all right. He, he does look a little, uh, a little gingerly there the way he's walking. It's either that or the mob of people that are around him right now. He's just trying to he's just trying to get out of trouble right there. So, but uh, obviously yes. they have a uh, bye week this week, and then you'll yes. get ready for the cocktail party down there in Jacksonville. Yep, and that's where I'll be next weekend when we take on Spencer. I'll be down in Jacksonville for my uh, yearly beach trip down there, and uh, hopefully the dogs will put it on the Gators. I'd like to I'd like to see a game like this. In our favor, one or once in my lifetime in Jacksonville, and we just that game's always close. If we win or if we, <laughs> if, if we lose, the Gators sometimes will put it put it on us down there. So a lot of big time atmosphere down there in uh, Jacksonville next week. So you be careful down there, Terry. Don't get hurt. Don't let that mob hurt you down there. So gotta ha- gotta have you next week. All right, we got about seven minutes before we start the second half. <clears throat> we'll take a full timeout. This is Callaway Cavalier Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Attention steak lovers, your chance to buy awesome steaks right here in LaGrange is at B's Meat Market of LaGrange. 
They'll be opening their doors Saturday, November 4th, a premier full-service butcher shop offering beef, pork, and chicken that will be cut fresh daily to your exact liking. Bee's Meat Market of LaGrange will offer everything from individual cuts of meats to bulk packages for large gatherings. Tell your friends and family and your neighbors that Saturday, November 4th is the big day. Bee's Meat Market of LaGrange. Signs of progress are all over town. Mayor Jim Thornton is running for re-election to keep moving forward and to make things better for all citizens. I'm Jim Thornton, and I've proven what I can and will do in office. The people of LaGrange care about results. I ask you to look at my record, a growing economy, a safer community, and a great quality of life. Learn more at jimthornton.org. Jim Thornton doesn't just talk. He gets things done. For progress and growth, Jim Thornton is your choice. Re-elect Jim Thornton as mayor of LaGrange. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle 102.3 and online at eagle1023.com. All right, guys, back here live at Callaway Stadium. Uh, players coming out of the tunnel now, headed down in the end zone. Big Jamal Bruce <laughs> going to stretch him out down there. Coach yeah, big Wiggins Jamal. heads onto the field. Yeah, big, big Jamal, he was a huge part of that Callaway run, you know, 2009, 2010. So great, really good kid. He, uh, Man, he went on and played at Duke, got his degree from Duke. So, I mean, uh, going to Duke, you got to be doing something right. Oh, no doubt about it. And Jamal is very, very knowledgeable. And uh, you know, my family, we're very close to Jamal, and uh, I couldn't be happier for him. And, uh, you know, he's he's like a brother to me. So, you know, I, I, I try to say hey to him every game. And, Y'all uh, kind of look alike. <laughs> I think we favor. I think I'm better looking, though. That's the only thing. I'll, I'll say that. All right, we've got about five minutes. Uh, looking over there, Temple. they got to be back there somewhere. They haven't come out on the field yet. But, a uh, like we said, a successful homecoming for Callaway tonight. Looks like everybody's having a good time. Rocking to the music. This is my – I like this part here. When they play this music and you get to look up here and – Watch everybody dance. <laughs> they don't know you're looking at them. Yeah, too bad we don't have a, a camera on everybody. So, but it looks like, uh, like we were talking about earlier, Callaway's going to re- receive the second half kickoff. So, let's see if we can uh, march the ball down the field, keep doing what we've been doing. And, and really, I think if we can go down the field and put six on the board, I think, I think we can start putting the backups in the game and get ready for next week. All right, and we mentioned earlier, both of these teams, one and one in the region, and something had to give tonight. And uh, so far, it is definitely favoring Callaway and that uh, run game, who is responsible for five touchdowns tonight. Yeah, doing a great job. And and, and, and I'll do this. So we haven't passed the ball a lot tonight, but I've been really proud to see how Kedrick Ramsey's responded tonight, especially after that last week, that real tough outing last week to be able to come back and it just shows the kind of leader he is the kind of the kind of person he is to be able to come back and uh and uh, and have a good good solid performance able to get us in the right plays and when we have had to throw the ball tonight he's made he's delivered he's made good passes no doubt about it and uh, you know we always talk about this team will only go as far as that quarterback play and that defense will let them and uh you know as long as he keeps progressing like he's going. I feel like this team's going to make another deep run uh, in the playoffs this year. Yeah, absolutely. Looks like we got about two minutes. We'll take another full timeout. This is Callaway Cavalier Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Deciding to sell or buy a home is a big step. To make sure it's the step in the right direction, choose the person best qualified to handle your real estate needs. Joel and Rob Upchurch have been breaking sales records every year since 1997. They truly are the real estate leaders in West Georgia. So take a step in the right direction. Contact Joel or Rob Upchurch at REMAX Results because they are dedicated to results and converting transactions into relationships. There's a secret to beating injuries or ailments. Get the right team. Emory Southern Orthopedics, well-trained, experienced doctors, nurses, and staff 
are that team. These teammates listen and understand your specific condition and provide high-quality hometown care that will get you back into your game. For more information about Emory Southern Orthopedics team, visit www.southernorthopedics.com. Now back to the field for more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle 1023 and online at eagle1023.com. All right, guys, we are getting set to start the second half here. Cavs with a 35 to 7 lead. Quick shout out to the wife and kids. Uh, they are headed back from Auburn. Uh, Alyssa does pitching lessons down there on Fridays. That's tough. Yeah, it's tough, but well, it's, it's not too far from your house, though. It's it's worth it. Yeah, that's what they, she getting better. That's though? what they're telling me anyway. She she has her moments. She, or are they uh, just telling you that so you keep right? You no, know, I never I never realized how tough that is, but uh, that's a tough thing to do to to throw that ball underhand like they do. And, I couldn't do it. Yeah, <laughs> I, I had a hard enough time just trying to throw it overhand. Obviously, I probably uh, I'm probably a little hard on her than I should be, but, you know, I don't know no other way. <laughs> That's right. It was like growing up with, growing up and uh, playing baseball my whole life. My, my biggest critic was my, my dad and my brothers, but you know what? You know, hey, tough love made me a better player, too. I never understood as a kid, you know, as a kid, you're always like, man, why do I got to do this? Why gotta? And then you realize when, as you get older and you start playing in high school and stuff, it's like, yeah, well, dad was right the whole time so you'll have that moment coming up soon she comes up to you she might be a senior in high school when she does it but she'll come up and tell you thank you at some point yeah i can't wait uh, well we've got about one minute before we start the second half uh, all the cowboy players and the Timber players now on the field uh, finishing up their stretching and like you said andrew Callaway gets the ball right here up 35 to 7 thinking one more score and you get the running clock one more score yeah we can get the running clock going and i and, and maybe at some at some point we can see uh, maybe, maybe we can sneak old uh, demetrius coleman in the game maybe he can get a little game time action so really excited about that kid yeah i'm not uh i hope he's able to go me too you no know, he he's, he's been out for a while off. he's had a had a tough ankle injury. He's been out for a few weeks. But we saw him throwing last week. He didn't dress out, but he has dressed out this week. So we'll see what we do. But I'll tell you what, though. The last pass Bryce Curian threw in this stadium was a 61-yard touchdown. So yeah, yeah. both both guys uh, in the backup roles have done a good job this season coming in and lighting up the scoreboard. All right. So uh, Temple's kickoff team. Huddles up over there on the sideline. Sure it'll be the same suspects back deep for the Cavaliers. I'm going to see Quay Hines get some touches here in the second half, too. He had a couple of good runs. Ever since that face mask penalty that, uh, that when Temple grabbed his face mask earlier, he hasn't carried the ball since. I don't. Uh, and it may just be that Cartavius and DJ are just running to that well tonight, too. So. All right, and there is the uh, very traditional kickoff music for the Cavs. That's right. I'm not sure what that. Zombie Nation. Zombie Nation, that's, that's right. right. This goes all the way back to, I think, my senior year of high school. I started playing this, and it's just been ever since then. It's just stuck, and it's kind of been the, the anthem of Callaway football. I love it. I wish we could take it on the road with us and play it before kickoff. All right, so Noah Stevens in. To kick off, Jonathan Leonard, Cartavius, Bigsby, Telly, Fannin right there in the middle. And there's a kick, short kick, high, down around the 10-yard line. And looking for room, gets out across the 20, and he's tackled by Telly. Ball's out. And he did I lose the ball. but he got it, it back. It, yeah, yeah, it looks like he got back on it. That was completely wrong. I, I completely forgot we we received the we, uh, received the ball to start the game. So Temple takes over at their own 25 yard line. It looks like so they'll set up shop and Callaway defense will come on the field looking to get a stop. All right, this series right here will kind of determine how this game's going to go. If we can come take care of business and force a punt, 
I kind of think this game will kind of go as we expected. But if they go down the field and score, it might make things here interesting going into the going into the late in the third quarter and fourth quarter. All right, two receivers left, two wings. Johnson works from the shotgun. There's a snap. He wants to throw, drop straight back, and he throws it down the middle of the wow. field. Overshot everybody. He's Looking got for number play. 23 right there, Damar Ivy. He's got to play a little baseball, but that kid's got a great arm. But you gotta you gotta give your receiver a chance to make a play. He just he three step drop just slung it, and he overthrew his receiver by about seven yards. So he had a guy. He just gotta you gotta give your receiver a chance to make a play in that situation. So, but a great. I mean, he's got a great arm. Obviously, they uh, saw something there uh, before half and wanted to take a shot right there. Callaway's done a really good job over, you know, in coverage and taking care of those receivers. All right, second down and ten now. Three receivers to the left. There's the snap. Wants to throw a quick slant. Oh, right through his hands. Again, he was looking for Ivy. Uh, high incomplete. It's one of the few things Ivy hasn't been able to do tonight, and uh, just went right through his hands right there, and kind of kind of lucky that one picked off in that situation. So I tell you what, to, I think if I recall correctly, this is John Curtis's first night starting both ways on defense and offense, and man, that kid has really played well tonight, going both ways. And shout out to him and, and for for being able to play offense and defense a lot tonight. Two receivers left, one to the right, and there's a quick screen Locking out to the number back. four, DJ Winters. Oh, guess they didn't see it. He gets down to the 30-yard line. Going to bring up fourth down and about five. Brings up a punting situation nonetheless. So good open field tackle. And I tell you what, when DJ Winters gets the ball, man, he is – he is hard to catch, so you definitely don't want to see the back of his jersey as a defender. It's fast. So in the punt now, number 14, Diego Medina. And he's standing at the 18 of Temple. And it looks like Quay Hines back deep at the 30. High kick, short kick, bounces down at the 40. Quay takes it at the 40. And falls up to about the 42. Where have we got a flag for it? And there are flags on the field. See is what this hold? is. Here comes the official now blocking the back against the Cavaliers. And that that's a good call. That I mean it was pretty obvious. That's a good call. All right, 35 to 7 here. Cavaliers with the first chance on offense to start the second half. That block in the back against the Cavaliers. That's a, that happened pretty fast too, because he jumped up in the air to make the catch on the on the bouncing ball. But we're back. The Cavs up ten yards, and they'll set up shop, looking like at their own thirty-one yard line. Another score update. Uh, deep in the third quarter. LaGrange trails Sandy Creek 27 to nothing, courtesy of uh, Kevin Eckleberry of the LaGrange Daily News. And uh, Troop still trails Cedartown 7 to 6. All right, here comes Jacob Freeman right up the Jeez. middle of the field. He gets out across the 40. Turn on the Jets. Cuts it up at the 50. Turn on the Jets. Down to the 40, 30. Oh, and he's finally tackled by DJ Winters from behind around the 25-yard line. If there was one person on this football field that was going to catch him, it would have been him. Good job by D.J. Winters not giving up on the play. And, man, I tell you what, Jacob Freeman in the open field, man, is impressive. That kid, that kid has got some wheels. All right, first down for the Cavaliers from the Temple 26-yard line. Kedrick under center, takes a snap, gives to the big fullback, and he rumbles down to the 20, <laughs> 15. Keep on going. Keep on going. Look at him. Into the end zone. What a run! Touchdown, Callaway Cavaliers. <laughs> what a run. I, and that was probably the slowest touchdown run in the history of football right there. But, man, he just carried the entire Temple defense. And that into is the end Adrian zone. Porter. Adrian Porter with the touchdown run for the Cavaliers. <laughs> what a and play. And, you, and the coaches up here in the box are going crazy for the young man. 
Adrian is wearing number 18 now. He started the season wearing number 59. Uh, but Adrian, Andrew, what? He's probably maybe 6'1", 6'2". Yeah, that's a big old boy right there. And he is fired up, and so is this Callaway sideline. That's good to see there. So 41 to 7, your score. We'll take a quick break. This is Callaway Cavalier football on the Eagle Sports Network. Here's Perry Fraser, head pharmacist at Holmes Pharmacy. All right, we have the flu shots in. We're going to start giving the flu shots out as of September 1 until we're through with the flu season. We have now the high dose in for 65 and older, and we're able to give flu shots to um, anyone 13 and older. And uh, keep in mind, Coleman, that if any large group of people that has, you know, 20 or more shots, if they want to give us a call, um, we'll be glad to set up a time to do the flu shots on site. Locally owned, that's Holmes Pharmacy, Cobber Avenue on the Grange, and in Hamilton. You're listening to Eagle 1023 and online at eagle1023.com. Now back to more yeah, Callaway Cavalier football. All right, guys, 41-7 to score. Here's the Noah Stevens kick. Bounces off a guy down at the 10. He picks it up at the 13 and gets loose out across the 30. And he's finally shoved out of bounds at about the 36-yard line. So a good return after the uh, botch kickoff. Yeah, crowd hoping for a block in the back right there. I saw it too. Unfortunately, didn't get it. But like you said, Running makes a good play, gets up to the Temple 40-yard line, and that's what looks, or excuse me, the Temple 38-yard line. That's what will set up shop on offense. All right, Cavalier defense back out on the field now. 10-14 to go. 41-7 score. Temple comes out on the field. One receiver to the right. Wing formation. Out of the gun, there's a snap counter. And they give it to number 23. That's Damar Ivy, and he gets about four on the play. Yeah, doing a great job on defense. Once again, from the defensive line, able to penetrate, force that runner outside, and the linebackers did a good job of cleaning up the mess. And uh, looks like Jabari Smith, 10th grade linebacker, is entering the game for the Cavaliers, and he'll spell number 11, Telly Fanning, for a few plays. Telly Fanning's had a heck of a season for us so far playing linebacker. He's been all over the place. He's one that left it on the field, all on the field last week, too, against Heard County. There's a snap keeper by Johnson. Uh, he gets up to about the 44-yard line. Going to bring up third down and about five, Andrew. And for all you at home listening to the Hanley game, Hanley leads Dadeville 33-6 to late in the third quarter. So, and I believe that's they're on their way to possibly getting their first victory of the season, if I'm not Dadeville? mistaken. Dadeville? Yes, Handley 33, Dadeville 6. 23 seconds left in the second quarter. In the uh, yeah, in the second quarter. And there's a give to DJ Winters right there, and he's going to be stopped short. Going to bring a fourth down and about one yard, Andrew. Yeah, and you got to think every possession here for for Temple for the rest of the game is going to be four down territory. So Callaway's got to be prepared to play four downs on defense every time Temple has the football. See Come what Temple goes with right here. One receiver to the right. Wouldn't be so shocked if they took a shot right here. Wing look. There's a snap. Give to the tailback, DJ Winters. He's dancing, looking Jeez. for a hole. And he gets it, Andrew. He gets about two on the play. It looked like he was going to get stopped for a two-yard game. And he just shot through the hole right there and was able to pick up the first down off the right tackle. And good running by DJ Winters for Temple. And he's been a guy I've been really impressed with tonight. He's he's as good as advertised uh, D.J. Winters on the season for the Tigers uh, has 97 carries coming into the game for 707 yards and seven touchdowns. So averages 118 yards per game, and I think he's well on his way to uh, to maintaining that average as well. So good night for uh, D.J. Winters from Temple. All right, here's the first down play. There's a snap. Quarterback's going to keep it. Comes off the left side with it, trying to get over and goes out of bounds at the 44. Yeah, he is a fast kid right there. Number five for uh, Temple, Trey Johnson, a quarterback, and picks up a good chunk of yards right there. Looks like it sets up about a second and four. 
And as that play happened, uh, Montez Crow just threw a 76-yard touchdown pass to Jamari Thrash in Troop Lead Cedartown, 12-7, with 2.51 left in the third quarter. And that's courtesy of Kevin Eckleberry of the LaGrange Daily News on that score. All right, there's a stretch play to Ivy, and he's pulled out of bounds at about the 39-yard line. I think it's an, is that enough for a, I think it's enough for a first down. Looks like they're yep. going to move the sticks. Yep, that's enough for a first down. So 7.52 left here in the third quarter. Got to stiffen up a little bit. You don't want to give up a touchdown late. Don't want to give up a touchdown late. See if this defensive line can get a little push right here, maybe try to force that runner back inside. All right, here's the first down play. Again, give to Ivy over the right side. Good blocking. Again, he picks up about four, maybe five on first down. Yeah, Ivy's had a good game tonight, and the offensive line made a nice little hole off the right side for him. And they seem to have had a lot of success tonight running off that right side of the defense. But as soon as they uh, started running the football, big number eight comes into the game, LaShawn Terrell. And I, I have a feeling that that hole might go away here in a second. All right, here's the second down. And five now for Temple. Again, Johnson from the shotgun. Two receivers to the right. Wing right. There's a snap. Give to DJ. Right side. And he gets up to about the 28. Oh. There's a late flag. That's going to be a personal foul. It's like I said earlier, there's been a lot of pushing and shoving after the plays, and I have a feeling this is on us. Let's see what he says here. Personal foul against Callaway. I didn't see it. And I was kind of hoping they'd do it both ways there because there's been a lot of pushing and shoving tonight both ways. And uh, fortunately this time the flag goes against the Cavaliers. But Temple's done a lot of pushing and shoving That's himself after the, after the uh, whistle. That's the right call. So 41-7, to 6.53 to go here in the third quarter. And Temple trying to get – Get in the end zone here uh, late in the third, Andrew. Yeah, 15-yard penalty sets him up at the Callaway 19-yard line. So defense needs to stiffen up right here. You got about six minutes left in the third quarter. Don't want to give up any of these touchdowns late. Two receivers left, one to the right. There's a That's snap. That's a false start. And there is a flag on the opposite side, and it looked like D.J. Winters. Offsides on Callaway. Like one of the defensive linemen come across the line early, so good call there. Huh. Okay. LaShawn Terrell eases off the field. Jamie Sellers. So we got a, some of the young guys in there now. There's a snap. Give to DJ right Winters. side again. And he's brought down around the eight-yard line. I wouldn't be shocked. You notice on these on these formations, Temple's coming in real tight, and everything everything they're running is going right, 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 right. I wouldn't boot. be shocked if they come boot or go to come to this left side right here. That quarterback keeps it and goes left. Don't be surprised if you if you see it down here. <laughs> I mean, they're well, you got Jacob up. Freeman and Cartavius Bigsby over here, so it's going to be interesting if they do call it. Oh man, I feel sorry for him if they hit head head to head. All right, here's a snap. There's a give this time to Ivy, and he's tackled hard around the six yard line. Right, going to bring up third down and about one, Andrew. Yeah, third one. Like I was saying though, this is still four down territory for Temple, so. Callaway defense has to already accept that they're going to be on the field for at least two more plays. Got to get two more stops. Brings up third and short for the Tigers. Like I said, I mean, they've had a lot of success running on that right side, but I would not be shocked if that kid keeps it. He's got a lot of speed. This will be the play right here. Yep, got him for the false start. Flag on the, Flag on the play. Look like DJ Winters left early. For Temple, so good call there by the ref. Back to 5.09 to go. 41-7, your score. Yeah, tailback left a little early right there. They'll back up Temple five yards. That's a big five yards in that situation, especially in four-down territory. So 
If you can just hold these guys to about five yards next to play, obviously we'll be all right and be able to pick up the football. But they've been getting about four or five yards a knock, especially up that right side. So, All right, two receivers right, one to the left. Again, out of the shotgun. There it is. Right, hands it underneath to DJ Winters. Uh, he got about two on the play. There's what two yards there? back. Brings up a fourth down and four. The first down, and they, they try to go left, but we did a good job of kind of anticipating that play. They kind of do a little counter trap to the left side, and good job with the Callaway defense sniffing it out right there. So a lot of options right here on fourth down for Temple. Do they go to the air or they keep trying to pound it on the ground? Doesn't look like they got a passing formation. Definitely Cartavius jumped on that one. Yep. That was an easy call. Like Good call there. Left, left side of the defense jumped off sides, and, man, that's that's tough. You got you can't give them a free five yards, and that might be enough for a first down, too. Uh, it's going to be fourth and one. It's a little short. Fourth and one. That changes everything right here. Now, de like now the run is definitely in, the play, in play right here for Temple. All right, here's Trey Johnson from the gun. Bad snap, and they get him in the they backfield. They got him in the backfield, and Callaway stops him. Good job, Cavaliers. Kelly Fannin, Jonathan Leonard leading the pack there. The typical suspects right there for Callaway. Good job. You know, the, the snap has really affected Temple tonight, you know, from punting, from a couple of offensive situations right here. And once again, a bad snap forces the quarterback for Temple uh, Trey Johnson and take his eyes off the defense for just a split second. Next thing he knew, he was sacked. So, big stand there by the Callaway defense. And they'll take over first down and 10 on their own 11 yard line with about 353 left in the third quarter. All right, looks like uh, we're going to let Kedrick continue on here in the third quarter. Two receivers to the right, Kedrick under center. And there's a toss back to Cartavius trying to get outside, cuts it up. Gets out across the 22. There is a flag on the field, Andrew. Let's see what the yeah, call is. Looks like Temple's, like Temple's got a player down. So while they tend to him, we'll take a quick break. This is Callaway Cavalier football on the Eagle Sports Network. Signs of progress are all over town. Mayor Jim Thornton is running for re-election to keep moving forward and to make things better for all citizens. I'm Jim Thornton, and I've proven what I can and will do in office. The people of LaGrange care about results. I ask you to look at my record, a growing economy, a safer community, and a great quality of life. Learn more at jimthornton.org. Jim Thornton doesn't. He gets things done. For progress and growth, Jim Thornton is your choice. Re-elect Jim Thornton as mayor of LaGrange. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle 102.3 and online at eagle1023.com. All right, after the penalty, <clears throat> Cavaliers come to the line. Uh, looks like first down and about 13. One receiver split way out to the left, one to the right. Kedrick under center. Takes a snap, gives to Quay Hines. Quay cuts it back up the middle of the field. Good spins, run, Quay. drags three guys with him down to the 21-yard line. Almost picks up a first down, too, on the carry. Great job by Quay Hines carrying the football right there up the middle. Looks like eye formation set. A little dive off the left tackle. Able to pick up a huge chunk of that penalty back, too. And Something to watch for. Travis Trailer limping off the field. Looks like with possible, maybe he tweaked his ankle a little bit, so let's keep an eye on that. Got to have him down the stretch for sure, Shane. All right, 3.08 to go. Again, one receiver split left, one to the right. Quay Hines in at tailback. Kedrick takes a snap, gives to Quay off the left side this time. Huge Got room. hole. He gets out across He's the gone. Body, across the 40, across his midfield. Down inside the 30, 20, 10, stays in bounds. No Touchdown, flag. Callaway Cavaliers, Quay Hines. 80 yards to the house. 80 yard touchdown run by Quay Hines. Great job by Quay Hines and great blocking there by the offensive line. Fullback did a great job peeling out, sealing a linebacker. And Quay Hines did the rest, outrunning DJ Winters for a touchdown. 
So the score is now 47 to 7, waiting the extra point by Hunter Williams. Hunter Williamson on now. There's the snap, the hold, the kick. It is up. It is good. So 48 to 7, your score now. 2.45 to go here in the third quarter. We'll take a full break. This is Callaway Cavalier Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Hi, friends. Jess Lickta here with Kia of LaGrange. We're going pink this month for breast cancer awareness. We're proud to be one of the gold sponsors for our local Paint the Town Pink Hope Walk event. Being involved in our community is part of our heart and soul. Speaking of the soul, you can own a 17 Kia Soul right now for only $15,888. Stop by and see our entire inventory at 1217 Lafayette Park. Parkway or shop anytime at keyofthegrange.com. Help support your local economy. Price list, tech, tag, and title. Stock number 19824. For award information, visit jdpower.com slash cars. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle 1023 and online at eagle1023.com. All right, guys, back here live, 245 to go here in the third quarter. 48 to 7 the score, Andrew, and it has just been ground and pound tonight for the Cavaliers. Yeah, running game's done a good job tonight, and I think, and this is unofficial right here, but I think we've, we're approaching 300, 350 yards rushing against Temple tonight, so awesome job by the Callaway offense tonight, executing and getting this running game going. Fumble on the play, fumble on the play. And on the kickoff, I think like he got it back. DJ it Winters back. recovered it down around the 11 yard line. And I did not notice this from earlier, but the Temple Marching Band drums glow in the dark. Really? Yes. Uh, keep an eye on it. They glow in the dark. That is, that is pretty cool. It's been dark over there. <laughs> I'm just saying that over there, they light up and stuff like that. It looks pretty good. It's like a neon green. Okay. Cool. I'm have to keep an eye on that. I want to see that. All right. Here's the first down play. Uh, play clock down around five seconds right here. Three, two. They get it off. Hand off to Ivy, and he's tackled immediately. Uh, and that looks like number eight right there, LaShawn, LaShawn Terrell. Terrell. And I think we'll see the running clock here, especially in the fourth quarter. I think I think it's I think we'll see the running clock going. So good play by LaShawn Terrell. It would beat his blocker tackle Mr. Ivy in the backfield. Mr. I Demir Demir what's his name? Yeah. Demar Ivy's had a really good game tonight for Temple. Alright, here's a second down. Again, they give it to Ivy off the right side this time. And he is knocked out of bounds by number four, Kobe Jackson, around the 19, well, about the 17-yard line. That's close to a first down. Yep, so bring up about a third and four. Looks like, I, looks like our guy uh, Demetrius Coleman is warming up here on the sidelines. Too, so that'll be exciting if we can see him get some action. All right, here is the third down and four. There's a snap. Again, oh, we got there's a counter. A double reverse inside counter, and look like LaShawn Taylor read that one pretty good. Yeah, he read that really good, and, and that's a tough play to defend, too, because you've got two wings so close to each other, and they're trying to do a double handoff right there, so you got to really pay attention. All right, fourth and five now, and looks like Temple will punt. And uh, see, so they're going to let oh, Cartavius Bigsby. <laughs> this will be fun. That's scary. <laughs> Can you imagine him with a full head of steam in the open field? <laughs> so Cartavius stands at midfield, and number 14, Diego Medina on the punt. And there's the punt. Get Short away from punt. That. Get away from bounces that. Bounces out of bounds. And it looks like they're going to spot the ball on the Temple 31-yard line where the freshman Demetrius Coleman will come out and get some 
third quarter action. And in the Troop Cedartown game, Cedartown has just scored to take a 13 to 12 lead over Troop in the fourth quarter. So it looks like a hard fought battle up there in Cedartown between Troop and the Cedartown Bulldogs. All right, one receiver right, one receiver left. There's a snap, there's a give to the tailback. And that is number 28, Eric nice run. Hines for the Cavaliers. Picks up about four yards on the play. Solid run right there. We'll see if we'll see if he if he's just gonna hand the ball off to let him run a little bit. I know he's just getting back from that ankle injury, so I'd like to see Adrian Porter get another oh, carry. Man, that kid right there carried he carried a lot of folks in the end zone for that. This is about this is about his spot on the field right here. That's right. I think it was what twenty what was it twenty nine yards? Yeah, ball yeah. at the twenty seven now. Second down and seven. Under center. There's a snap. A toss oh, wow. out to the tailback, and he's trying to make the corner. He does. Gets down inside the 25, out of bounds at the 24. And that was uh, Marcus Mormon, the uh, sophomore running back. Good job catching the pitch right there. Looks like the wide receiver may have held his block a little bit too long, so that'll back the Cavaliers up 10 yards from the spot of the foul. See where they're going to spot it now. Twenty seconds to go here in the third quarter. Forty-eight to seven, your score. Been all Callaway tonight. Uh, really, a, a key region matchup here tonight for the Cavs. And yeah, they've, they've come a, out and played that. That can, they're almost there. They're almost there. They're three quarters of the way there from that dominating performance that we were talking about we might see tonight. All right, so now second down and 21 for the Cavaliers as they break the huddle. Demetrius Coleman under center and Marcus Mormon in it tailback. There's a snap, and again, a false start. Looks like the whole right side of that line might have moved, Andrew. Yeah, and you got a lot of the young guys in right now, a lot of the, the young calves in there, and just trying to build a little continuity, building a little uh, chemistry together, just trying to trying to execute these plays. So you're going to see a, you're going to see a few mistakes with these guys on the field, but these guys are just trying to get better, build get reps, and build a little depth going into that playoff run. Second down. And 26 now for the young Cavalier offense. One receiver right, one to the left. Again, Demetrius works under center. There's a snap. Give to the tailback. He's trying to bounce it outside. There's nothing there. He's tackled for about a one-yard loss. That was Marcus Mormon again. Yeah, it looks like we're just trying to run the clock out. Just trying to... Keep running the ball down their throats. Just tr keep trying to milk this clock, and looks like that'll bring an end to the fourth quarter, Shane. I mean, right. end to the third quarter. Excuse me. I'm sorry. All right, 48-7. Your score here after three. We got one more quarter here on homecoming night. This is Callaway Cavalier football on the Eagle Sports Network. There's the to beating injuries or ailments. Get the right team. Emory Southern Orthopedics, well-trained, experienced doctors, nurses, and staff are that team. These teammates listen and understand your specific condition and provide high quality hometown care that will get you back into your game. For more information about Emory Southern Orthopedics team, visit www.southernorthopedics.com. Deciding to sell or buy a home is a big step. To make sure it's a step in the right direction, choose the person best qualified to handle your real estate needs. Joel and Rob of Church have been breaking sales records every year since 1997. They truly are the real estate leaders in West Georgia. So take a step in the right direction. Contact Joel or Rob of Church at Remax Results because they are dedicated to results and converting transactions into relationships. Here's Perry Prather, head pharmacist at Holmes Pharmacy. All right, we have the flu shots in. We're going to start giving the flu shots out as of September 1 until we're through with the flu season. We have now the high dose in for 65 and older, and we're able to give flu shots to um, anyone 13 and older. 
And uh, keep in mind, Coleman, that if any large group of people that has, you know, 20 or more shots, if they want to give us a call, um, we'll be glad to set up a time to do the flu shots on site. Locally owned, that's Holmes Pharmacy, Cobber Avenue on the Grange, and in Hamilton. You're listening to Eagle 1023 and online at eagle1023.com. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football. All right, on third and 21. Demetrius boots it around to the left side, picks up about four, brings up fourth down, and here's a punt by Hunter Williamson. Good punt, bounces down inside the 20, down inside the 15, down to the 12. And we'll definitely get the running clock here for the fourth quarter. As Temple and their offense heads out on the field. Yeah, running clock here to start the fourth quarter, so you'll look at both sides just emptying their their bench, trying to get some of these younger guys in, and more importantly for the Cavaliers, they're going to try to get some of these young guys some valuable game reps, like I said, get ready for the for this big playoff run we've got coming. So we will keep you posted as soon as we know more about the uh, LaGrange versus Sandy Creek game and the Troop versus Cedar Town game. All right. Here's the snap. Quarterback's going to keep it, take it right up the middle of the field. Oh, he's so fast. Gets about four or five again on first down, Andrew. Yeah, and, there's, and that's one thing Temple's done a good job of tonight is they keep getting you for those three- and four- or five-yard hitters on first down. First down it, for the they've done a good job, and they haven't got a whole chunky, a chunk, big chunks of yards except for that long touchdown run, but they've done a good job of kind of staying on schedule with the run game. All right, second down and five now. Give to Winters off the left side. All he needs is a little hole, but we close it quickly right there. Uh, he's tackled down around the 17. Might have got a yard, Andrew. Yeah, good job of the Callaway defense. Uh, defensive line did a good job of forcing him out, and the linebackers, like they've been doing all night, cleaned him up. So good job of the Callaway defense. Quick deal. And uh, uh, with 7.29 to play in the fourth quarter, Montez Crow hits Kobe Hudson for a 20-yard touchdown pass, and Troop leads Cedartown 18-13 with 7.29 to play. All right, here's a snap on third and four. Ooh, big one. Oh. He, and there goes DJ Winters, he and might, he gets loose at the We 50, got the angle 40, on him. Let's see if we can get 30, him. 30, 20, Man, he is fast. 10, and there's another 85-yard touchdown run by DJ Winters. He's he's well on he, he's well over his average yards per game now. He averaged 118, but it's two plays. And it's like we saw, you know, I saw this in person last week when Georgia played Missouri and defense fell asleep for two plays. The next thing you know, you give two 64-yard touchdown passes. But you know what? When stuff like that happens, it's coaching moment. It makes you hungry. It makes you want to get better for that next game too. So we'll see if the Cavaliers can clean this up going into next week. All right, so 48-13, your score. Uh, waiting on the extra point here by Diego Medina. There's the snap, the hold, the kick. It is up, and it is good. So 48-14, your score. We've got about nine minutes to go. We'll take a break. This is Callaway Cavalier Football on the Eagle Sports Network. When a football team ends up with 12 men on the field, it means somebody forgot to double check. And when you end up paying more for your car insurance than you need, it could also mean somebody forgot to double check. That's why State Farm will do a free discount double check by going through your policies to make sure you're getting all the discounts you deserve. Because those discounts mean big league savings. It pays to double check. Call your State Farm agent, Matt Orr, on the square in downtown LaGrange. Signs of progress is running for re-election to keep moving forward and to make things better for all citizens. I'm Jim Thornton, and I've proven what I can and will do in office. The people of LaGrange care about results. I ask you to look at my record, a growing economy, a safer community, and a great quality of life. Learn more at jimthornton.org. Jim Thornton doesn't just talk. He gets things done. For progress and growth, Jim Thornton is your choice. Re-elect Jim Thornton as mayor of LaGrange. 
Attention steak lovers, your chance to buy awesome steaks right here in LaGrange is at B's Meat Market of LaGrange. They'll be opening their doors Saturday, November 4th, a premier full-service butcher shop offering beef, pork, and chicken that will be cut fresh daily to your exact liking. B's Meat Market of LaGrange will offer everything from individual cuts of meats to bulk packages for large gatherings. Tell your friends and family and your neighbors that Saturday, November 4th is the big day. B's Meat Market of LaGrange. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle 1023 and online at eagle1023.com. All right, Temple set to kick off here. 9.05 to go here in the game. And it looks like number 14, Diego Medina on the kick, and he's going to kick it deep. Good kick. Lands into the end zone for a touchback. So the Cavalier offense will come out up 48 to 14. We'll take a quick break. This is Callaway Cavalier football on the Eagle Sports Network. Buy a home is a big step. To make sure it's a step in the right direction, choose the person best qualified to handle your real estate needs. Joel and Rob Upchurch have been breaking sales records every year since 1997. They truly are the real estate leaders in West Georgia. So take a step in the right direction. Contact Joel or Rob Upchurch at REMAX Results because they are dedicated to results and converting transactions into relationships. Now back to the field for more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle 1023 and online at eagle1023.com. All right, on first down, Callaway gets about two yards on the play. Brings up second down and eight now as Coach Napier sends the play in with Demetrius. Ball spotted around the 20-yard line, Andrew. Looks like they're just going to keep it in the eye formation for the rest of this game and just keep trying to pound this football. All right, two receivers to the left. There's a toss to the tailback, trying to get outside. Gets down to the 20, and he's pushed out of bounds at the 24. And that looks like number 34, Antonez Barnes. Antonez Barnes, a junior running back, linebacker for the Cavaliers. So good carry on the play. Brings up a third down for the Cavaliers. I uh, want to give a quick shout-out. Um, you know, my, my parents were huge Callaway supporters and fans. They had three, three of us play for the Cavaliers growing up, and uh, they uh, used to come here every Friday night for games. So they now uh, listen to us every Friday night from Palmdale, California, right outside of Los Angeles. So they're listening to us right now and uh, cheering on the Cavaliers all the way from California. So we appreciate them tuning in and supporting the Cavaliers. There's a quick toss out to number Ooh, 44, Laquez Gilbert. I don't think he got a yard. Uh, I think it's going to bring up a fourth down. So they're going to send number 40, Hunter Williamson. I know your mom is, she's crazy about those Oregon Ducks. Gilbert, she, she is, she is. They're, uh, they're not having a good <laughs> season right now, but nonetheless, they're still, uh, still, still supporting those Ducks. So she was really excited to know that uh, – Jacob Freeman got a scholarship offer from the Ducks, so she was really excited to see that. Oh, absolutely. I think Keandre, too. I think that Keandre's got – Oh, and it's and blocked. And the punt is blocked. Got to get it out of the back of the end zone. Sitting in the end zone. And you really need to just kick that thing out of the back of the end zone right there, but it uh, looks like Temple falls on it. Yep, and uh, – That's going to be a touchdown for Temple. Yep, and that's two TDs scored here in the fourth quarter against Callaway backups. So uh, – it's unfortunate, you know, it counts against you in the stat sheet, but it doesn't take away from how much Callaway's dominated this football game. And, and Travis Trailer is coming off the field again, limping hard. We might need to shut him down for the rest of the night. So 48 to 20, Cavaliers leading. So 6.25 to go. And here's Medina with the extra point. It is up. It is good. 48-21 your score. We'll take a timeout. This is Callaway Cavalier Football on the Eagle Sports Network. If you're a renter, you may never know why your landlord starts lawn care at 7 a.m. every Sunday. Or why your car is the goal line for the neighbor kids' soccer games. 
You may also not know State Farm can save you hundreds by combining your auto and renter's insurance. So protect your car and your stuff with one good neighbor, your State Farm agent. It could save you time and money. One more way we're here to help life go right. Visit your LaGrange State Farm agent, Mabel Smith-Sharp, online at LetMabelQuote.com. You're listening to Eagle 1023 and online at Eagle1023.com. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football. All right, guys. Callaway getting set to receive the kickoff after Temple uh, pounces on a block punt in the end zone for a touchdown here late in the fourth quarter. 6.25 to go. Uh, Makes the score 48-21. to and might see an onside kick here, Andrew. We might. I, I hope not, though, because, you know, Callaway's already called off the dog. So if they, uh, if they try to get the ball back here to an onside kick, I wouldn't be shocked if we maybe try to score a touchdown right here. All right, number 14, Diego Medina in to kick for Temple. He approaches the ball. There's a kick. Again, a line drive kick. Let it go out of bounds. Uh, bounces off of a Callaway player and out of bounds around the 11-yard line. That's just a teaching moment for the young Cavalier. You know, just let that ball just let that ball go out of bounds. You get the ball at the 35-yard line, and uh, instead it bounces off his hands, goes out of bounds, and Callaway set up shot deep in their own territory. So good thing for us the clock's running. We just want, just want to try to get out of here here and don't give up any more cheap touchdowns late in this game. So Here comes Demetrius Coleman into the huddle now. About 20 seconds on the play clock. 5.50 to go here in the game. One receiver to the right, one to the left. There's a snap. There's a give to the tailback. And he's wrapped up in the backfield. <clears throat> Looks like number 28 for the Cavs, Jalen Shepard, freshman running back. Yeah, just getting some reps, just trying to milk this clock. About 5.28 left running clock in this game. Just want to try to get out of here. Move on to next week. Uh, got another big one against Spencer. So we got to get everybody healthy and get ready to go because we got to go play them in their place this time. Yes, down there at the uh, – is that stadium? Uh, me- uh, Memorial. Memorial, Memorial Stadium. stadium. And yep. for all you listeners at home, Cedartown has scored and leads Troop 21-18 with less than four minutes left in the game. Again, there's a give to the tailback. He's trying to get outside. He oh, does. he gets does. Out across the 15. Hold on to that ball. And he's knocked Ooh. out of bounds. That hit a pretty high right there. Knocked out of bounds at the 18. He's down. He's fine. Good hard right, there run we go. right Good there. Good job. Good job. By number 28, Jalen Shepard. I was worried for a second. It looked like he was looks like he was in some pain. So it's not enough for a first down. Is it close to it? Close to it. Looks like he's going to be about two yards shy. Nice run. Here comes Demetrius back into the huddle. I think we'll see Demetrius carry the ball right here maybe. Four minutes to go. Third down, Callaway. Third down and two right here. See what Coach Napier dials up. There's a snap. It's a keep right up the middle. I think he picked it up. It's going to be close. I think he See got it. They spot him. Yeah, that should be a first down for the Cavaliers. And yeah. it is. Yeah, good run there. Right Had a feeling they'd put the ball in their playmaker's hand. Uh, great job by Demetrius Coleman taking the snap and just running up Demetrius the middle. Kind of like an old, uh, old middle school play right there. Looks like something. You might see old Coach Woodard dial up right there for a guy like that. So first and ten for the Cavaliers. Coach Woodard's favorite play is that victory formation. All right, nice. again, nice there's a handoff play. to number 29 this time for the Cavaliers, and that's Eric Hines. Great job by Eric getting outside. A good job blocking by this young Cav- Cal- uh, Cavalier offensive line right there. A little toss sweep to the right side out of the eye formation. And did a great job getting to the edge, and I think that's close enough to pick. Uh, it's close to a first down, a two yards short, so bring up a second and two. Three minutes to go in this one, 48-21. Your score, two receivers to the left. Eye formation again, give to the tailback. He's trying to bounce it outside, cuts it up, 
And I think he's got enough yep. for another first down, Andrew. Should be a first down, and that, that may be enough to ice it. And that was the sophomore, Marcus Mormon, with the carry. Yeah, good job by Marcus. Picking up the well, tough down, yards down, inside down, and breaking a few, just enough tackles to pick up a first down for the Cavaliers. So here we have the freshman Demetrius Coleman in at quarterback and the freshman tailback Jalen Shepard in. One receiver split to the right, one to the left. Demetrius under center, fakes the give, rolls to his right, and it's a straight keep. He gets out across 35, out across the 40, goes out of bounds at the 44-yard line. Good run there by Demetrius Coleman. Little bootleg action to the right side. Good blocking to the line. And another solid play by this young uh, Cavalier offense right here. Looks like uh, about a half a yard shy here of a first down. Ball at the 45-yard line of Callaway. Demetrius jogs back into the huddle with about 16 on the play clock. Minute and 30 seconds to go here in the game. Two receivers to the left. And there's a give to the tailback. And he stood up at the 45. Keeps his feet moving. Picks up about a yard. May pick up a first down. I think he's got a first down. That should ice the game, Shane. And that is number 34, Antonez Barnes. Gives to number 34, Antonez Barnes. So a Barnes. lot of uh, different Cavalier players getting some work here late in this one. Nice to see We've got a lot of guys. We've probably had seven or eight people carry the ball tonight, Shane. It'll be enough for a Callaway first Looks down. Like we got about a minute left in the ball game. All right, again, two receivers to the left. Demetrius under center, snaps, pitch to the tailback. And that's number 29. He's trying to get the corner. He does, and he's out of bounds at the 44-yard line. That was Eric Kynes. Yeah, nice run right there, and they're they're at the Callaway offense having a lot of success tossing the ball to the outside, and blockers and fullback doing a good job of sealing the edge and picking up about nine, ten yards every time we run that play. And the play clock has not started, so we will not have to snap it, but they might want to run one more play. It looks like we're just going to let it go. All right, good deal. So your Cavs on top tonight, Andrew, 48 to 21. This is going to be your final score. Cavaliers improved to two and one in the region. Temple falls to one and two. So we've got two big matchups left, Spencer and Jordan. We'll take a break. We'll come back, wrap this one up. We'll talk about uh, the Saturday game next week with Spencer. That's right. Got a big one next week. On the road, too. 48-21, your final here tonight for homecoming. Cavs on top. This is Callaway Cavalier Football on the Eagle Sports Network. LaGrange Banking is growing. We've opened a new location in Columbus, and we've adopted a new name that reflects our community roots with an eye on the future. Welcome to Calumet Bank, offering personal and business banking services with the friendliness of neighbors. We work on your schedule, offering daytime business hours and a complete set of mobile apps. Day or night, we've got you covered. Calumet Bank, same great services from people you already know. Life is better at Calumet. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Deciding to sell or buy a home is a big step. To make sure it's the step in the right direction, choose the person best qualified to handle your real estate needs. Joel and Rob Upchurch have been breaking sales records every year since 1997. They truly are the real estate leaders in West Georgia. So take a step in the right direction. Contact Joel or Rob Upchurch at REMAX Results because they are dedicated to results and converting transactions into relationships. At Wellstar West Georgia Medical Center, we believe teamwork makes all the difference in your health. We believe that skilled people can achieve higher standards and exceptional results. We believe in a game plan that's focused on patient safety and quality care. At Wellstar West Georgia Medical Center in LaGrange, we believe in life well lived. To learn more about award-winning health care, visit wellstar.org slash WGMC. Attention steak lovers, your chance to buy awesome steaks right here in LaGrange is at B's Meat Market of LaGrange. 
They'll be opening their doors Saturday, November 4th, a premier full-service butcher shop offering beef, pork, and chicken that will be cut fresh daily to your exact liking. Bee's Meat Market of LaGrange will offer everything from individual cuts of meats to bulk packages for large gatherings. Tell your friends and family and your neighbors that Saturday, November 4th is the big day. Bee's Meat Market of LaGrange. Ka, 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 Kia. Hi friends, just like to hear with Kia of LaGrange. We're going pink this month for breast cancer awareness. We're proud to be one of the gold sponsors for our local Paint the Town Pink Hope Walk event. Being involved in our community is part of our heart and soul. Speaking of the soul, you can own a 17 Kia Soul right now for only $15,888. Stop by and see our entire inventory at 1217 Lafayette Parkway or shop anytime at KiaLaGrange.com. Help support your local economy. Priceless tax tag and title, stock number 19824. For award information, visit jdpower.com slash cars. Now, back to more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle 102.3 and online at eagle1023.com. All right, guys. 48-21, the final here tonight. Andrew, it was uh, a lot of running game early and often for the Cavaliers tonight. Right, and it's like we talked about in the pregame. We kind of felt like if if Callaway was going to come out and play one of their complete games of the season, this might be the one to come out and do it in. You know, you had a Heartbreaking loss last week to Heard County. Turned the ball over five times. Got stuffed on fourth and one, fourth and goal from the one yard line, and just had a lot of stuff go against you. They came out tonight and ran the ball down Temple's throat, and they said, "This is how we're gonna." They kind of dictated to Temple how this game was going to be played tonight, and uh, they came out and executed. And yeah, you see, they gave up 21 points on the scoreboard, but 21, uh, 14 of those were given up in fourth quarter when the when the reserves were in the game too. So. You know, Callaway came out and really took care of business tonight, and we got another big one next week. Got to go play a, a team that in Spencer where you can't let them hang around or they'll beat you too. No doubt about it, Spencer, uh, up and improving team uh, was really one of the uh, bright spots last year that I saw with them was uh, the way that they were able to move the ball up and down the field against Callaway. Yeah. It Callaway had a pretty good defense last year. It didn't show on the scoreboard, but Spencer moved the ball pretty well last year against oh, Callaway. Did. And uh, I remember uh, Dominic Copeland, he had a couple big interceptions in that game that really helped us uh, win that football game. And, I, and I, I'll never forget the uh, double pass from Dylan Johnson to Braylon Sanders, who hit a wide open DJ Atkins down the middle of the field for a big touchdown against his old team. And uh, I'm sure this game still means a lot to DJ going down there and playing his old uh, his old team, Spencer. So, but big night, big night from the Cavaliers. Uh, one score update though: we have uh, the uh, Troop Tigers have fallen to the Cedar Town Bulldogs, 21 to 18. So, the Troop bid for an undefeated season comes to an end, and uh, got some big ones left if they want to play for that big region title game at the end of the year against uh, Cartersville because it sounds to me like Cartersville rolled tonight. Yeah, I noticed that uh, Trevor Lawrence broke the Georgia high school passing record. That's right. Uh, passing Deshaun Watson. Uh, so that's uh, big time for that program. Congratulations to him. And then uh, Troop, obviously they'll come home, they'll go to work. And They've got a heck of a football team. Uh, That's right. They obviously have one heck of a quarterback, uh, Montez yeah. Crow. I know he's like top five in the nation in passing and That's right. just unbelievable talent over there. Hats and off to Cedartown to holding that offense to 18 points. You know, I mean, that's that's a feat in itself right there. I mean, hats off to that Cedartown defense. And there might be another player in that region for the region crown. You know, it may not be a two-horse race anymore. That Those Cedartown Bulldogs may uh, be saying, wait a minute. There's a third team ready to go, too. All right. So the final here tonight, 48-21, Cavs on top. Join us next week. We're going to have a Saturday night game, 7.30 kickoff, down at Memorial Stadium in Columbus against the Spencer Green Waves. We'll go live at 7 o'clock, and that will be on 96.9. For Andrew Carraway, I'm Shane Andrews. Thanks for listening, guys. This has been Callaway Cavalier Football on the Eagle Sports Network.